VSS Strangler, The Murder of Jay Gibson. On October 10, 1947, aboard the SS Durban Castle, 90 miles off the West African coast, Jay Gibson was murdered. The young starlet of only 21 was raped, strangled, and tossed out of the porthole of her bedroom. The only suspect was 31-year-old James Cam, a steward on the ship. At 7.30 a.m., the stewardess who regularly cleaned cabin 126 was surprised to find the door open. Miss Gibson was nowhere to be seen. Her bed looked unusually disheveled, and the stewardess noticed stains on the sheet and pillowcase. With no sign of Miss Gibson, the stewardess reported her absence to the bridge. Immediately, James Cam was a suspect. A physical examination revealed scratches on his shoulders and wrists, the result, Cam claimed, of heat rash. James Cam had originally stated that he had spoken with Miss Gibson the night of her disappearance, but did not enter her cabin. However, when the ship docked, Cam was still held for questioning. This was when his story changed. More evidence pointed to Cam when the scene of the crime was further investigated. Cam claimed that Miss Gibson had greeted him wearing only her dressing gown. Underneath, she was naked. During intercourse, Cam claimed she had suddenly started gasping for breath, then fell limp. He had attempted artificial respiration, but when this failed, he had lost his head and pushed the dead woman down the porthole. However, the evidence told a different story. The two bed sheets from cabin 126 both showed clear traces of a blood group O, as well as smears of lipstick and saliva. Since Cam's blood group was A, it was reasonable to assume that it had come from the missing woman. The bloodstains were also consistent with manual strangulation. Doctors also found traces of urine on the sheet, because in cases of strangulation, the bladder commonly discharges its contents. The urine discovered also had isolated human cells of the type that line the external female sex organs. James Cam was the first British defendant to be convicted of murder without a body being found. Cam made legal history. He had a history of attacking female passengers, though none had ever pressed charges. Due to this, Cam spent the remainder of his life in jail. He died July 7, 1979.